in to another episode on Edgewater, Saskatchewan, eh? In this episode, we're going to be purchasing this farm ground just north of our place. It's got an old farmhouse and some outbuildings. So we're going to give it a shot and expand our farm to the north. Won't you join us? Now that we own this property, we're going to run down to the dealership and purchase a small bulldozer to do some land clearing to clean it up between our hay field and the field of the houses on. So let's get down to the shop and get a few items purchased and see you back at the house. Here, I think we have everything we need to get started. Let's hop in the truck here, hook up to our trailer be able to get the bulldozer down because it would take forever to drive it, plus tear up the roads. So let's not even try that. Let's go ahead and grab our new low loader. Hold up here. There we go. Get all this stuff put together and loaded up on the trailer. There are some trees along our hay field that we want to get rid of so we don't have all that mess. And we might be able to make our hay field just a little bit bigger also by, by cleaning some of it up. All right, let's get this thing raised up and loaded onto our trailer. Now this truck's not a very big truck, but we needed a grain truck since we got rid of our, uh, our old wagon we were using. And that's really weighing down the truck good put most of the weight on the trailer. Strap on it. I could have shut the bulldozer off. There we go. All right, let's get down to the house. Here we are, back at the new place. There's a lot of kind of rough trees in the backyard that we want to clear out. Make this opened up a little bit more. Easier to work with. Go, put the front of the truck up again. There. But this is the brush and trees that I was talking about. Tons of bushes back here in brush. Now the trees we'll just take a chainsaw to, cut all those down, and probably have a big old brush fire out here to clean it up. Because these trees, none of these trees are really big enough to try to get any lumber out of. Try to get a good boundary, know what we're going to clear out. This is our hay field right here that we right next to our house that we keep cutting and it's actually ready already for a like second cutting, maybe third cutting this year. I can't remember how many we've had so far. Into that tree. Still running into that tree. But I will finish clearing out the brush and bushes and then we'll get into the chainsaw work. Well I've got most of the brush removed. Now all we got to do is get in here with the chainsaw, cut these trees down, and then push them into a pile. So let me grab a chainsaw and get cut. Alright, let's start cutting these trees. Yeah. There. Oh, that's a lot higher than I want. But <laughs> it's down. Looks like a lot of them are going to be higher. I'm not sure why it won't let me cut low this time.
But let me finish these all up and, and we'll make them in a pile. Well, I think I got them all cut down. Well, maybe there's still one right there. Yeah, we might have one left. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah. All the trees fell down on it. There we go. There. Fell. Falling over. All oh, right onto the building. All right. Let's get these scenes cleared out. All right. Let's go down to the other end here and push them to the middle. We only have one brush fire instead of two. Definitely don't want to have it too close to the building either. Not sure if we'll just, we'll probably just put grass over here. I think we'll do anything. Definitely not gonna put any more trees. Not that much. There, pushing pretty easy. Try to keep them all together. Go get the one off the building. There you fell. I don't think I'm gonna be able to push them all together. I'm gonna take multiple tries. Stuck here on them. We don't want to catch our hay field on fire. He's a nice little bulldozer. Small enough to maneuver around. And still big enough to push the piles of trees. Maybe. Let me get these two to grab on. Might be about the spot where we push them all into. There, let's push them into the middle. In an earlier episode, not too far from here, is where our hay caught on fire. We had some wet bales in a pile that caught on fire overnight. Lost quite a few of them. Like I might have a tree down there I missed. I'll finish these, these up, get them all in one pile, and get back to you. I think those are all going to be close enough together, packed in tight. There, all right. Let's get our fuel and get it get it started. Well, we got our fuel to put on the brush pile. I shouldn't park this close to it. Get in here and get it poured out. Well, I dropped it for a minute. All right. Let's get started. All right, I think we've got it in there good enough. Enough fuel. Let's light her up. There, let that burn a little while, then we'll keep pushing some of these other tree limbs into it. That'll work nicely. Definitely be cleared up a lot better. Then we're going to come in here. We're going to plow this all up. To expand our our hay field over just to the line, the borderline of the house here. Let's just sit back and let this burn up a little bit. Let's try to get this pushed in as best we can. It'll burn up good.
big trees back here still. There we go. Go. Get this brush burnt down. Finish pushing this in. is gone now that's all gone we can get the plow over here and get this little area plowed up and seeded in grass all right see if we can get right on the line here without going too much over it's not gonna add us a lot of ground but the best thing is it'll just make this look a little better probably should have cleared up more maybe another time we'll clear it clear up to the garage We'll get this plowed up, seeded. Then we're going to get some of our equipment up here so we don't have anything on the street anymore. Well, I think this will do it for today's episode on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a like. And until next time, have a blessed day and bye bye